Hello folks, more Astroneer snail hunting today, where we only need to get two more for the full set. Uh, we need to get Bestifar the Glacio Snail, who boosts your terrain tall, and Inoki the Astrox Snail, who enhances your speed and jump ability. Uh, I should emphasize, if you're jumping straight into this video without seeing the previous ones, these snails do have to be done in a rough sequence. You do have to collect the earlier ones before you get these last two. Uh, you also need to get through the regular progression of the game somewhat to make sure that you have access to resources from later planets. Um, I do know that today's snails will need gases, and so we'll need an atmospheric condenser for those trips. Uh, we also have to do a bit of unfinished business. We have to go. We'll, we need some chips. Uh, we do need to go... Hang on, let's get the mission log out. Uh, we do need to go and provide exochips to the Xenobiology Lab, so we can actually find these two new ones. So let's go over there and do the business. Um, I've started to think about farming seeds. We planted a couple last time, now we've got all sorts of bloody plants. And I'm actually going to use the proximity repeater. When I use that, this will explode with seeds. Um, but let's not do that now, let's come back to that once I've actually got my um, exochips into the maw of the Xenobiology Lab which should be over here. We also need to provide it with some power, so this this organic small generator type thing may not be enough. We shall see. That's one, two, power. We don't really have much organic there, but it should be enough. By the looks of it, it's not very high power requirement. Off. Right. Activate. And we now have these two to get. A grumpy but dilig diligent companion who enjoys digging when well fed and prefers to be attached to the terrain tool to do his best work. And meanwhile we have an easygoing companion with exactly one brain cell who will lift your spirits when well fed, likes riding in backpacks to help lighten the load you may be carrying. Nice. Alright, well, so we just need these two lads, so we just need to go out and get stuff. Uh, we have um, the Glacio and Aatrox ones to go to. So caverns of Glacio and ones inside the spew flowers of Aatrox. Ooh, that's going to be weird. Okay, let's let's go and harvest some stuff. So this proximity repeater, I could set up a full automation thing, I'm sure, but this will just hang on. <laughs> yes. Providers with lots and lots of seeds. These apparently do disappear after a time if you don't replant them. So. Um, let's make sure that these are fully planted, and then we'll take some with us to actually feed to our lads. Right, so I'm going to take a few snails with us this time. I'm going to take this one, which is the damage protection one, you, uh, which is the curiosities one, and you, which is the oxygen one. In fact, actually, I'm, going to, I'm not going to bother with the, um, the curiosities one, because that's probably beyond the scope of what I give a shit about <laughs> right now. I'm going to feed them with seeds as well. You and you. Put you to there. And that means we'll have a spare seed there. And now we can, I think we can go. So at the moment I am... Um, I can't be damaged and I can't suffocate. I've got ten minutes. I'm just going to test this out actually. Just because I, I, I had this idea. What I'm going to do is just see how good the damage thing is. I should not be killed. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did not grow up in the air at all. Oh! So we do actually need to take the atmospheric condenser with us. Uh, I do believe I'll need helium from one of the planets. Aatrox, I think. So that's going to be a thing. Put you on there. Pack. And bung you there. So we have atmospheric condenser, landing pad, and large platform B. Um, we've got enough fuel, I think. Yes, we have. So now we need to go to Glacio. Right, so I have landed here before when I was trying to get some, I think it was iron, whatever it was. So I've got a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of base. So that should all be good. There's a great big red valley over there, remember that much. Uh, which was useful for getting compound and stuff. Right, here we go. So I've got a couple of things here already. But now we need to do the usual unpacking. Oh, I've actually got a, um, a large platform here. I actually didn't need to bring another one then. Okay. Fine. Can put that onto there. Already have a generator here. Right, okay, so that can be getting helium. Oh no, hi. Well, we've actually got some argon already. Um, but, no, yeah, it's argon, isn't it? Uh, yes, it will be. But, there we go. But we'll get some more. I'd say I brought one jar of argon with us. I've got some repackaging material. Large platform B, I don't actually think I need then. 
Right, okay, that can finish expanding. Uh, and now we need to go into the caverns. Now. I still have my invulnerability and my oxygen, so I don't actually need to worry too much here. I can just go down. I don't think there's going to be any obvious way into the caves, so let's let's just do the usual dig down. Oh, detonating ice chunks! Didn't even see that bit previously. Ugh. Okay, I think it might be time for one of my patented ramps. Patent pending. You will notice I am tethering, but the tether's about to run out. From now on, it, sh it shouldn't matter, because we still should have the oxygen. So, ice columns. I've got to detonate them. That's alarming. Or ice chunks, whatever it is. They look chunkier, though. Ice chunk, here we go. Can oh, fuck, we really need de um, dynamite for this. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, that makes things a lot more complicated. Actual dynamite. Well, there's nothing we can do then. We have to go back. So on silver, we do actually have a couple of bits of dynamite. I did have a third one, but I wasted it <laughs> about ten minutes ago. Um, so we might need to actually make some more. What do you call it? Explosive powder. Oh, that's car carbon and sulfur. Oh, we don't have sulfur. So my plan is... I've only got the two bits of dynamite, but hopefully if I can stretch that all the way um, by, like, detonating several at once... We may... S oh my god, don't go down there. <laughs> it's a hole to doom. Um, you never know, because I saw three... We saw about three in one place of these things, so hopefully that should see us good. If we can only just remember where the bloody things were. There was a threesome, not you. There was a threesome somewhere, which were all very close together, and that may be okay. Otherwise, we'll have to run around this planet's surface and try to find dynamite from wrecks and things. There might be some down here. Well, there's two over here which are very close together, so... We will definitely need, we we'll probably need one more at some point, but let's see. Let's go. My snail's still running strong. And somewhere in there, snail. And some, somewhere under there, hematite. And snail. Camera's going rogue. So that's two, using one bit of dynamite. So either we now need to find three next to each other, or we need to find another bit of dynamite somewhere. Now here's something interesting. Um, first of all, the snails do actually appear on your compass. Um, but also, I've discovered something useful about these minerals. Oh, actually, they are, they, this is where those three in a row were, but... You don't actually need to work with them where they are. They can actually be moved by um, your gun. So just to demonstrate that, and because I'm not quite sure the dynamite will reach over, over all three, we can just put that in the middle there, and that should get them all in one go. Much more efficient. Didn't even need to walk away from it because then the explosion wouldn't hurt me. Right, scan. Scan. And scan. And a bit of you two and all. And there we have it. Didn't need to worry about oxygen at all, even though we were actually very close to the tethers, so that wasn't too much of an issue. God, there's so many minerals down here. So, two sticks of dynamite and I barely needed the oxygen snail, which is all very cool. Right, so I can actually go to the landing pad. Get ourselves the terrarium. And now... So you need... Not that. Mission log. But Argon and pop coral. Now, hopefully... Well, let's see from... Let's see if this slightly... The one with the, with the one taken out of it works. It may only require one. Um, yes, it used it all up, but, hmm, I'm not quite sure, maybe it didn't. Let's try that again. No, apparently it is, it is fine. So that is actually something that we can add to our store. And we, we need pop coral seeds as well. Now, it's, I can't remember which ones they are, but I think... They're the ones that we need to. We may have to go down into the ground for. I think those are those regular um, pink and white ones. So yes, they all. I'll try underground. Yo, yes, pop coral. There you are. Get a couple of those. Whilst I'm at it, I can also be feeding my lads. Well, only that one actually needs. Oh, that's mutant. That one. Oh, I see. Okay. 
let's just put that there. And there. Okay, he couldn't eat the mutant one. That's a cat mutant catapult seed. That's a favourite food of something. Um, I can't remember which one. Maybe even that one. So maybe that was... Because that, that'll give you 30 minutes instead of 10 minutes. Um, backpack full. And that's about to eat one, the, the, the new seed. Um, okay, so we have... Well, let's... We don't want the hematites on it. Let's make sure that we actually do have that. There we go. We do have a, have one fed into the thing and also one to actually put into the terrarium. And as before, bung. Oh, missed. I did a bad bung. Some soil. And so we only need that four argon. That was weird. Anyway, never mind about that. Right. Horn. Right, we need to take it, by the looks of it, downstairs again this time. Oop, careful, 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 careful. Clonk. Right. Oop, nope, missed. Uh, we need the terrarium. There. Hmm. Remove horn to reset lure. Ah, oh, there we go. Hello! Oh, he's very... I like his colours. Take that with us this time. I always forget. Right. And now the now traditional chicken... Uh-oh. Before we go on. Get rid of you. <laughs> uh, yeah. The now traditional chicken dance. Which is... Um, yeah, you love it. They all love it. Right, whilst we're here... What's another mutant one? So did they actually accept mutant ones? I'm not sure, but... Nah, whatever. Right, anyway, where are we? Let's look at the compass. Oh, it's literally... I can actually see it. Oh, it's a long way, though. That is quite... That's the, the furthest yet we've had to travel, and we've got to do this three times in all. Or two, actually, one, once more after this. Right, just press... Just tap G this time. Do the chicken dance. Get ready with the compass. We're even further away. Holy shit. Okay. These do seem to be getting... I'm not sure if these are getting tougher or whether it's the same every time or whatever, but... Either way, we've got 10 minutes of oxygen or whatever it is. So we should all be good. Now we can burn... Uh, hang on, was he gone? He's gone again. What the fuck? What a cheeky little... Okay, this is a diff more difficult one, then. Or is it? Why are we just tethered? <laughs> Who knows? Where are you? Where are you? Have you gone up? Are you up? Are you up in the air? Maybe. Hmm. That might be a possibility. Actually, where's the exit? Where's the exit? Aha, I see tethers. We may need to go up. This has never happened before. Ooh. It's more complicated, this one. Up, 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 up. Really, I do miss my jetpack at this point. Right, well, I'm on the surface, and now, unfortunately, he's now down below. You can, if you see on the map, his symbol is below the surface of the compass. So, oh! Oh! Ow! Thank you, armor plating. <laughs> there you are, you little twat. I think... is that it? Yes, finally, we have him. Or her. That's succeed. Right, get him. Make sure that we keep the horn. And get you. Once we've got rid of more hematite. Don't need that. And... Nice. Right, back to the ship. So, I think we're done here. I don't really need to get more Argon. I mean, I've got a nice full one of those. Um, I shall probably take the medium Jenny as is. We'll need some... Well, I needed the whole unpacking stuff, so this will take a while. Hang on. Right, everything I want to bother taking back is on the ship. Um, have I left a beacon? Yes, I have, from previous. And now we go to Aatrox. 
So I'm going to continue recording um, for, um, another episode now, So, and we'll pick this up again next time, because there's a lot more I want to do than just finish off um, Aatrox. Um, the snail, because there's going to be a whole sort of end game thing. I also want to test out all the snails at once by maybe going to the centre of the planet. Oh, before we end the video, I better just edit this in. I just, <laughs> this is done after the fact. I just realised if I split the videos up that way, you won't get to see the Glacio snail in action in this video. So I'm just going to quickly edit this in just so we can see that happening. And uh, we've currently got him not working. And this is the. T Hang on, so I'm going to make sure that my drill is off. Uh, so while attached to the terrain tool, improves its width, boost, and drilling ability. So this is without it, which ain't great. And this is with it. Chomp, 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 chomp. It makes no difference. <laughs> oh, hang on. Now it makes a difference. Yeah, look, it's bigger and faster and kind of lovely. Okay, so yeah, so we'll pick this up again um, in the next episode, of the next final episode, where we'll deal with Aatrox and everything after.